The government's overhaul of employment laws has been savaged by business leaders who warn it will stifle growth and could lead to job losses. Labour's plans to overhaul workers' rights will stifle investment, depress wages and slow growth, business leaders have warned. They describe the new measures, which will be unveiled today, thur, as clumsy, chaotic and poorly planned, banning zero-hours contracts and fire and rehire practices will be included in the 28 changes. Most of them are not expected to be implemented before the autumn of 2026. But the Federation of Small Businesses said the Employment Rights Bill will hamper firms up and down the country. The FSB's Tina McKenzie said, This legislation is rushed job, clumsy, chaotic and poorly planned. Dropping 28 new measures onto small business employers all at once leaves them scrambling to make sense of it all. Beyond warm words, it lacks any real pro-growth element and will increase economic inactivity, seriously jeopardizing the government's own 80% employment target. There are already 65,000 fewer payroll jobs since Labour took power, and the new government is sending out a troubling signal to businesses and investors. Under the bill, the existing two-year qualifying period for protections from unfair dismissal will be removed and workers will have the right from the first day in a job. Ministers say this will benefit 9 million workers who have been with their employer for less than two years. There will be consultations on a new statutory period, with ministers promising employers a lighter touch process covering dismissals. The bill also spells out day one rights for paternity, parental and bereavement leave for millions of workers, while statutory sick pay will be paid from the first day of a worker being sick rather than having to wait until the fourth day.